Hey everybody, this is uh, Evernoise. Uh, welcome again to this story of a song series. And today is gonna be episode three about my song Stand on the Edge. And uh, as I do in this small series uh, where I tell you about how these songs uh, uh, come together, how I create them, today I'm gonna share with you uh, the issues I faced when I created it. And the, I, I can tell you uh, the primary issue was not about uh, composing it or producing it, recording it, singing it, whatever, all this which I love doing. It came very easy. It was a song which I produced very quickly. But then, then it was a nightmare to mix it. Uh, I could go into a lot of technical details and if you want me to, you can DM me or send me whatever sort of message and, and ask for that and I'll tell you separately. But it was a nightmare to mix. Uh, uh, I, um, I, I thought it would take me something like a week or so uh, working on it every day as, as it does uh, for all my own songs. And it took me a whole month. And after a whole month, uh, the song was just mixed. I was finding it okay. Not so bad, but uh, not so great either. And I didn't even have mastered it yet. And it took me even more time to master it uh, because the mix was uh, such that it was very hard to master as well. And uh, later on, I used, uh, uh, but I, I got something which I was happy about, but not tremendous, not awesome. So a long time later, I um, hired a great mix engineer, which I have worked with on other of my songs. He's called uh, Bruno Ellingham. He's been working with uh, great bands such as Massive Attack, Uncle, uh, New Order, a lot of electronic music, but also some rock music. So it's exactly a good match uh, for my genre. And he did a great job. The funny thing is that I didn't tell him uh, the turmoil that I had gone through uh, trying that on my own. And he went through the exact same. He was commenting the exact same issue I had had. And we, but he, he's got a lot of experience. So uh, we found, uh, he, he suggested and we found great solutions uh, for what had, in the end, I believe it to be a, a great mix of uh, his making. And then the song was mastered at Abbey Road as my recent songs have been. And uh, well, it was very cool as well. They did a great job uh, uh, again on that one too. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy in the end with the result sound wise. Uh, the result from an artistic standpoint, it's up to you guys to know about that, how you feel about it. But at least technically uh, speaking, I'm, I'm very happy about it. Uh, and that's thanks to these great people who worked on it with me, uh, otherwise, uh, I would have managed to do something, but I'm not sure whether I, I would have got something as good as I think it is at the moment. Anyways, it's been cool to share this with you. Uh, I always take some risks in doing so because you might think, hey, the guy is crazy to tell us about uh, the uh, uh, difficulties of, of, of what is happening behind the screen. But that's, I think that's part of what is uh, fun to know about an artist as well, what is interesting. That's what I love knowing about other artists. And I, I have to say, I love sharing that with you guys. So if you enjoy it, you can either go to my website, you have the URL at the bottom of the screen, or you can go to my YouTube channel. Here's the link, you have it as well. Uh, and you can subscribe, you can like, you can do whatever and watch whatever sorts of videos you want to on, on the channel. Or, and um, I hope you enjoy all of that. And I hope to see you in other episodes. Have a great day. Bye now.